Thank you to both Mr. Bowles and Dr. Lance for your encouraging and inspirational words. To our graduates, wow, what an end to your high school career this has been. You had your last months of high school, including prom, spring sports, and senior activities taken away from you by COVID. And recent events have shown just how prevalent social injustices remain in our nation. As joyous of an occasion as graduating is, the uncertainty of what comes next can seem daunting, especially in times like these. Honestly, none of us know what is next. However, I believe strongly that if you follow your dreams and interests, you will accomplish whatever goals you set for yourself. Life is not about what doing what others think you should do. Instead, it is about finding what you want to do. It is all right if you don't know what you want yet, but my advice to you is to stay true to yourself and always treat people with respect. I strongly believe that good things happen to good people, which is why we have stressed four key values throughout your high school career, hardworking, caring, responsible, and respectful. They are more than words, they are a blueprint for life. I assure you, if you live by those four values, the sky is the limit and the world will be yours. Again, congratulations class of 2020. You did it and I could not be prouder of you. At this time, I would like to recognize our top 10 students based on cumulative GPA over the course of their four year high school career. Brianna Harper with a 3.97 GPA. Nicholas Williams also with a 3.97 GPA. Renata Hall with a 3.98 GPA. Anaí Magianas with a 3.98 GPA. Israel Oluwule with a 4.0 GPA. Brian Corral with a 4.01 GPA. Grace Agumbawale with a 4.07 GPA. Natalia Guzman Montel with a 4.23 GPA. And Jonathan Silva Melendez, who finished number two in the class with a 4.24 GPA and is our 2020 salutatorian. And finally, last but not least, number one in the class, the valedictorian of the class of 2020 Saida Idris, who finished with a 4.26 GPA. At this time, I would, like to take, I would like to introduce both our salutatorian, Jonathan Silva Melendez, and our valedictorian, Saida Idris, who will give their commencement addresses.